With a potential target price of $100, Palantir could more than double, reflecting its unappreciated potential and substantial market opportunity, writes Ford. Ford describes a number of similarities between NVIDIA in 2020 and Palantir at present to support this bullish outlook, which is a unique technology, a mammoth potential market, and the ability to grow its margins dramatically. Like NVIDIA, Palantir has been waiting decades for this moment, argues Ford, adding that Palantir ability to help organizations create digital assets from real-world business models positions it perfectly to unleash the full power of AI. Assuming that Palantir captures even a small portion of the estimated $500 billion enterprise software market, according to Ford, this could still lead to $11.5 billion in annual revenues by the latter part of the decade. The investor also believes that Palantir will succeed in increasing its operating margins to 60% as revenues grow. Yes, this is very bullish, but it is possible, says Ford. Analysts can't predict moves like this. They didn't with NVIDIA, and they won't with Palantir. The investor does qualify this optimistic sentiment, however, rating Palantir shares a buy. To watch Ford's track record, click here. Palantir sparks mixed opinions on Wall Street, reflected in four buy, six hold, and six sell ratings all coalescing to a hold consensus view. With a 12-month average price target of 2767, the stock is projected to drop 32% over the next year. See PLTR stock forecast. Going forward, CEO Alex Karp expects the company to maintain its momentum, the persistent and unbridled demand for our software, for an effective enterprise platform that makes artificial intelligence capabilities useful to large institutions, shows no signs of relenting. The problem is valuation. Wall Street forecasts adjusted earnings growth of 22% annually through 2025. That makes the current valuation of 109 times adjusted earnings look pricey. Personally, I agree with Wall Street. Palantir looks overvalued, and I would not be surprised to see a substantial correction in the future. Investors should consider trimming their positions. In August, Forrester Research recognized Palantir as a leader among AI and machine learning platform vendors. Analysts wrote, Palantir is quiet. To help out this comparison, let's say Palantir can achieve 30% profit margins and grow its revenue at a 20% pace for the next five years. If it does that, it would trade at 45 times trailing earnings at today's prices. So for Palantir to trade around the same price NVIDIA is now, you have to give up four years of returns. This shows how expensive Palantir's stock is and pushes me toward recommending NVIDIA over Palantir in this matchup. Palantir is a fantastic company, but the expectations built into its current valuation are far too high. Instead, NVIDIA looks like a much better buy than Palantir, as it will still be growing rapidly but trades at a far more reasonable price tag, even if that price tag is a bit expensive. What if I told you that your favorite data company is making a significant bet on air travel? Yes, Palantir is positioning itself for a potentially massive opportunity, and if you don't take notice now, you might miss out. Recently, Palantir invested $1.5 million in Surf Air Mobility. While this amount might seem small for a company of Palantir's stature, the implications of this investment are anything but trivial. This move signals a transformative potential in the regional air travel industry, focusing on AI-powered flight operations and electric aircraft. In this video, we'll dive into why this investment could be a game changer for Palantir and how it may propel the stock to new heights. While that may not seem like a huge amount at first glance, it's important to note that this isn't their first investment in Surf Air. They've now increased their total stake to 2 million shares. Palantir recently acquired 7 million shares, but this isn't just a straightforward purchase. Palantir has been providing services to Surf Air, receiving either cash or shares in return. A smart strategy, in my opinion. So what exactly is Surf Air Mobility? 
it's not your typical airline. This LA-based company is leading the charge in electric aviation and regional air travel. They focus on retrofitting existing aircraft with eco-friendly technology, developing electric and hybrid powertrains to enhance the efficiency and sustainability of regional air travel. Let's delve into the current situation with Palantir. If you take a closer look, you'll notice the green bars representing actual call options positions. These green bars signify resistance levels, and right now we have resistance at $42. With Palantir trading around $39, that leaves us with approximately $3 of potential upside before we hit this resistance. What's particularly interesting is that if we extend our timeline further into the month, this $42 resistance level shifts up to $45. This upward movement suggests that the market is anticipating further gains for Palantir. It's essential to monitor these resistance lines weekly. If you see a breakout but the lines remain stagnant, it could indicate a lack of market confidence, which might lead to a price pullback. Financially, Surf Air has experienced impressive growth, with revenues skyrocketing nearly 400% in the past year, reaching $111 million as of Q2. However, they are facing some financial challenges, including significant debt and a troubling operating margin of 153%. So what's the outlook for their stock? Palantir's stock has experienced quite a roller coaster ride, down about 80% at one point, but recently seeing a 60% surge in the past month. It's been highly unpredictable. If you look at the stock chart, there's a notable breakout, but there's also the 150 day moving average marked by the purple line. I always advise caution when a stock is trading below this line, which currently sits around $3. Palantir is investing in a smaller aviation tech firm. It's not just a passing interest. Palantir has a strong track record of transforming complex data into actionable insights for governments and large corporations. And this move into aviation tech signals a strategic push into new areas, not merely diversification. Palantir is strategically positioning itself to revolutionize data analytics in an industry ready for disruption, aviation. This sector relies heavily on optimizing routes, managing resources, and making real-time decisions, areas where Palantir excels. Alongside SURF, they're developing an AI-powered operating system called SURF OS, aimed at the advanced air mobility market. This innovative software will enhance efficiency by optimizing everything from flight routes to maintenance. Palantir is in a sector that's far more significant than just pocket change. It has the potential for substantial revenue that could really propel the business forward. You might think it's already taken off, but I believe its real growth is just beginning. While there are uncertainties about how things will play out, they're actively learning, which is why I appreciate this startup investing approach. For a relatively small investment, you gain insights into their journey and the industry landscape. Who knows, they could partner with major players, like a major airline or a top manufacturer, offering them a fully developed operating system in just a week of implementation. Now looking at Palantir's stock chart, I want to give you some insights into what's happening using trading vision. Hindsight, as they say, is 2020. While it's easy to analyze the past, predicting the future is far more challenging. This couldn't be truer for NVIDIA, leaving countless investors kicking themselves for not spotting the AI unicorn before it skyrocketed into the stratosphere. Could Palantir be the next AI-inspired growth story to follow in NVIDIA's footsteps? Top investor James Ford thinks it just might be. Palantir's unique technology, large addressable market, and potential for margin expansion position, it's similarly to NVIDIA pre-AI revolution phase, writes Ford, who sits in the top 4% of all tip ranks stock pros. Ford acknowledges that opinions on Palantir are divided, noting that traditional metrics could indeed suggest the big data analytics company is overvalued. Moreover, Palantir's revenue growth remains solid, with a 21.22% increase in the last 12 months as of Q2 2024, and an even more pronounced quarterly growth rate of 27.15%. This growth trajectory is a testament to the expanding adoption of Palantir's AIP platform and its relevance in the enterprise sector. Additionally, investing pro tips suggest that Palantir holds more cash than debt on its balance sheet and is expected to see net income growth this year providing further confidence in the company's financial stability and future prospects. Investors looking for more detailed analysis on Palantir can find additional investing pro tips 
which include insights such as the company's valuation multiples and stock price performance. For instance, Palantir is trading at a high price book, Mule. Ark Invest is finding far more asymmetrical opportunities today in companies operating further down the AI stack, including those providing software as a service and platform as a service products, Bouchon said. Data analytics providers like Palantir can provide customized data and AI services that are tailored to the needs of specific clients, Bouchon said. Palantir's unique technology, large addressable market, and potential for margin expansion position, it's similarly to NVIDIA pre-AI revolution phase, writes Ford, who sits in the top 4% of all TipRank's stock pros. Ford acknowledges that opinions on Palantir are divided, noting that traditional metrics could indeed suggest the big data analytics company is overvalued. However, the investor also sees significant potential. Billy. Palantir shares at an average price of 36.85 per share from Scepter 27 through OSTI, one under the 10B5-1 trading plan. The company is expected to report third quarter results in November, and analysts are looking for adjusted earnings of $0.09 cents per share on revenue of $703.7 million. If this is indeed the way the cookie crumbles, those numbers would be good for earnings growth of 29% on revenue growth of 26%, Guilfoyle said. Of the 11 sell-side analysts, I see that post-sales estimates for Palantir, all 11 have increased their estimates since the start of the third quarter. According to Bushin, hardware and infrastructure have accounted for 80% of the value that has accrued over the past two and a half years, as investors pour money into shares of AI-related companies. With a potential target price of $100, Palantir could more than double, reflecting its unappreciated potential and substantial market opportunity, writes Ford. Ford describes a number of similarities between NVIDIA in 2020 and PLTR at present to support this bullish outlook, such as a unique technology, a mammoth potential market, and the ability to grow its margins dramatically. Like NVIDIA, Palantir has been waiting decades for this moment, argues Ford, adding that Palantir ability to help organizations create digital assets from real-world business models positions it perfectly to unleash the full power of AI. Assuming that Palantir captures even a small portion of the estimated $500 billion enterprise software market, According to Ford, this could still lead to $11.5 billion. Peter Thiel and Alex Karp have offloaded substantial shares, with Karp selling up to 9 million shares valued at approximately $325 million, while Thiel has sold over $448 million worth of shares and filed a notice to sell an additional 28.6 million shares, equating to over $1 billion, or about 1.2% of Palantir's market capitalization. While insider transactions do not always correlate directly with price movements, they can provide insight into the founder's perceptions of the company's valuation. In the medium term, Palantir will need to demonstrate revenue growth significantly above current estimates to justify its high valuation. Moreover, the fact that its founders are selling shares could signal a potential price reversal, while Palantir's upcoming inclusion in the S&P 500 index might. Where the market is completely bottlenecked is on that transition from prototyping to production. And that happens to be the place that we are most differentiated. Indeed, while others are playing catch-up, Palantir is already benefiting from years of AI investments. Management estimates U.S. commercial sales will jump 47% in 2024 to $672 million. Leadership also increased its full-year sales guidance to a range of $274 billion to $275 billion, up about 23% from last year. The new offering has been resonating with commercial clients, as seen in its recent results. Its commercial segment revenue jumped 33% year-over-year in the second quarter to $307 million, while its U.S. commercial revenue surged 55% to $159 million. The technology-focused asset manager's European managing director, Rahul Bhushan, told CNBC in an interview that data analytics software names such as Palantir sit well-positioned to capture AI market share from tech giants as demand grows for customized data and AI services that tailor to clients' specific needs. Um, Palantir shares rose 6.6% to 41.45 on Tuesday. The stock has gained 141% since the start of the year as of Tuesday's close, jumping nearly 37% in the past month alone as it got a boost from its recent inclusion in the S&P 500 index. Below, we take a closer look at the technicals on Palantir's chart and point out important price levels that investors may be watching. I'm genuinely excited about Palantir's long-term potential. These are investments in companies that think ahead 3, 5, 10, even 20 years.
While the stock price will experience fluctuations, I believe Palantir has a solid foundation for growth. Of course, this is not financial advice. It's just my analysis and research. I encourage you to check out our insights on Tradvision and feel free to ask questions. Also, join us for a beginner trading session this Wednesday evening, where I'll share how we've achieved a 94% return this year with minimal effort. It could be a great opportunity to learn a system that can simplify your trading experience.